May 2020, a mysterious new video app called Zane began appearing at the top of the app store charts, beating the household names like Instagram and YouTube. But what actually is the Zane app? Zane is a nearly button for button clone of TikTok that differentiates itself with one key twist. It pays users to sign up, watch videos, and convince others to follow suit. The app was launched at the beginning of May and is now rated as number one free app in the Apple's App Store and in the top 10 on the Google's Play Store. If you're familiar with TikTok, a free social media app that lets you watch, create, and share videos often to a soundtrack of the top hits in music right from your phone, then you should face little to no problem navigating your way through the Zane app. Zane is fully a TikTok clone. The core interface is identical and both are oriented around watching short portrait orientation videos. The big distinction between Zayn and TikTok is a countdown timer with a dollar sign in the middle that hovers over every video on Zayn. As you watch videos, the timer fills up and gives you points, which you are supposed to be able to redeem later as cash or gift cards. There have been a couple of videos on YouTube showing payment receipts of cash outs. Zen is seen by many as an app launched to amplify a long run battle between two Chinese tech giants, Zen's parent company, Kuaisho, and ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok. The two firms have been fighting for supremacy in China's competitive video sharing market and with TikTok's sudden success in the West, the battle has now spilled over to the US. It is surprising that an app that got a trailer load of downloads in a space of one month suddenly disappeared from Google and Apple Play stores on the 14th of June 2020. The reason, as was revealed, was that Zen is filled with videos that appear to be stolen from creators on other social media platforms, including TikTok celebrities with massive followings like Charlie D'Amelio and Addison Rae. Many of the clips of Zen are aggregated by accounts centered around a single team, like pranks. Other videos appear on lookalike profiles, impersonating individual creators. Four influencers who spoke to Wired, a monthly American magazine, published in print and online editions that focuses on how emerging technologies affect culture, the economy, and politics, said videos they originally published to TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube were uploaded to Zen without their consent on the accounts they did not open. Here is what one of the celebrities got to say about the Zen app. I didn't create this, Max Mazurek. A Polish dancer and model with almost 190,000 TikTok followers said after Wired showed him a Zen profile using his name, the account has nearly 250,000 followers and featured many of the videos Mazurek had previously uploaded to TikTok and other platforms. It is not my account, Mazurek said. I can't download this app in Poland. Before its removal from the US App Store, Zen was the number 5 according to the data from SensorTorrent. The app reached the number 1 spot for the first time on May 27th and stayed there through June 1st. It then jumped to number 1 again from June 5th through 10th. Sensor Tower estimates Zen was downloaded 5 million times on iOS and 700,000 times on Google Play before it was removed. Earlier June 2020, US Senator Josh Howley asked Federal Trade Commission to investigate the app, saying, This smacks of a textbook predatory pricing scheme, one calculated to attain immediate market dominance for Zen by driving competitors out of the market. He also warned that an app paying for downloads could drive out other much needed competition in the social app market. There is light at the end of the tunnel of Jose creators, quite show, and users. As of Tuesday, the 16th of June 2020, the Twitter and Instagram account representing Zane posted a statement acknowledging the app had been removed 
and said the company was in communications with Google and working to fix this ASAP. Here is the outcome of the big fix. The payment on the app is now being replaced with a new reward system called ZenShares. ZenShares still gives users points for watching videos. The big distinction is that there are actually no rewards being offered in exchange for the points, not money or anything else. In the app, Zen users will get benefits and rewards for collecting Zen shares, but it doesn't say what those will be. We have some plans about the use of Zen shares, but we need your ideas, the company writes. As said earlier, Zen app is a new app which is similar to TikTok. It allows you to earn free money or gift cards by watching videos and referring friends. Simply download the Zen app and enter a referral code once you are signed up to earn your first dollar. Then make sure you watch a video that is at least 20 seconds long to ensure your account is fully activated. You also get a bonus for watching at least 20 seconds of video per day for 3 consecutive days. You earn up to $20 per friend that you refer depending on how active your friends are on the app. If you refer 5 friends, you earn up to $110. Although, according to reports, it's not that simple, but it did pay for a while and a lot of people made thousands of dollars from this over a space of just a few weeks. Like TikTok, the app launches you straight into watching a video the first time you open it. If you want to earn rewards too, you have to sign up. And to sign up, you have to hand over some personal info to Zen. There is no option to create an account directly with Zen. It has to be tied to some other service, Google, Facebook. Twitter or your phone number. The app also requests location access during the sign up process, but it still allows you to proceed if you decline. To cash out your rewards, you have to link a PayPal account. I think the payment structure with Zen initially set up was a way to give themselves a chance in a highly competitive market, dominated already by TikTok. From the start, I knew it would be difficult to sustain the payments because paying that much users is definitely going to take a huge toll on their finances. The maximum daily payout of $50 was just to ensure that people don't suck money from the app and dump it immediately after. I do appreciate their efforts because it's a direct attempt to prevent monopoly, which is bad news for any industry. I still think Zen app is worth using because accumulated Zen shares may eventually be used to cash a lottery or something of that nature in the near or far future. So if you do not have an account already, then go ahead and download it. I won't be sharing any referral links in this video because I just wanted this video to be highly informative. I do hope you got something out of the video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.